Hi, I'm Ofa Kilebuka Kutumbao Likiliki and I'm the director of the Women and Children Crisis Centre in Tonga. The one thing that I um, think that will make uh, a difference to international development is um, the importance of any type of development to take into account the human rights framework. And um, without the human rights framework, I don't think that there will be any meaningful impact in many of the societies, particularly in societies of um, developing countries, like Tonga, for example. So um, if any development framework will be based on using a human rights framework, I think that is critical, one. Two, um, all development staff must undergo a gender uh, training, gender relations, gender equality, gender equity, and they need to um, have that grounded um, in their knowledge system before they go out and do any type of development work um, in any field or country that they choose. And thirdly, I think there should be a, um, rather than doing a situational analysis with um, international consultants, there must be um, a connection made with local um, development workers, you know, nationals working on the ground who really understand the, the cultural, the religious and all the uh, misconceptions that are used as excuses um, to counteract any development efforts in, in the country. And I think it, it's um, critically important that you use local uh, networks because the local networks will be able to, um, you know, respond to any myths and misconceptions used as excuses by the state, um, by donors and by um, any other uh, form of assistance that's uh, given from the outside. So if there's a connection made by international and local um, practitioners, researchers, and all development workers must undergo gender uh, relations, gender equality, gender equity training, and all development work must be based on a human rights framework. And I think if that's done, then there'll be a huge difference in international development all over the world.